people. Happy Saturday. We're doing a Saturday stream. I just got this keyboard in the mail, so I'm gonna unbox it. Look how cool this looks. That's what has me more excited about it. Like, there's no wasted space, right? These are tactile switches. So Logitech has like three different types of switches. And I think these are considered to be the brown ones. I think the tactiles are the brown ones, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not. All right, everybody. So today we're doing a Logitech G unboxing of the new G413 TKL SE keyboard. It's aimed for people who want gaming grade uh, keyboards and performance um, at an affordable price point. So that's what this is. This keyboard, do you guys want to guess the price? I want you guys to guess the price of this keyboard. There is a TKL version and a non-TKL version, and I chose TKL. No Googling allowed. <laughs> $69, of course. <laughs> 59 to 75 90 okay some of you are actually close i'll go through so this keyboard is the one i have in my hands no joke it's 69 dollars i'm not joking <laughs> the other one the, the one with a numpad because there's one with a numpad is 79 79 and you guys can say what you guys want to say in chat if that's okay <laughs> that's okay i'm sure it's fine i think sure they don't they won't mind if they ever do rewatch this or i post it on youtube or something hi youtube all right, let's get it open. Oh, I didn't show you guys the box. Here, let's do a quick uh, a quick look of the box. So there's a keyboard. It has a uh, brushed aluminum top case. It is super sleek, very slim. Let's see, usually it shows like the design of it if it's uh, the TKL, but this is the G413 TKL SE. There is a one a version with a numpad as well. The back so that you guys can see. That's the brushed uh, aluminum, which we will see. It's wired. So this one's aimed at people who um, want an affordable keyboard at a good price point, but also want like gaming grade and performance quality without suffering, you know? How do I open this? Hello? Oh, it's it's a, a front opening. All right, you guys ready? Wow, you guys can't see anything because there's plastic on it. Let's take it out. Let me take it out of the box. There's nothing in the box other than the keyboard. It is a wired keyboard. There's a little sticker and a pamphlet. All right, camera, focus not on me. Focus not on me. It is very light. This is a very light keyboard. Um, let me bring up the brightness of my lights so that you guys can see the brush aluminum. I haven't taken a look. You guys have seen it before my eyes. It is so nice. light and so compact. Okay, let's take this out of the logo. Nice. Here it is. Can you guys see? So it's brushed aluminum. It is very light. It is super compact. That's what I'm, that's my first thoughts while just looking at it. And here's what it looks like on the side. Um, I'm gonna get a TKL so that you guys can see it in comparison. But this is a TKO. That's the TKO. This is, oh, this, the TKL is so sharp. And then this is the new one, the G413. As you can see, it is as slim as the TKL at the bottom. And then it goes up. It is very slim. This keyboard is very slim. The LED is white LEDs. It's a white light uh, lit keyboard, backlit keyboard. So if you like your RGB, maybe a Pro X might be better for you. Um, this is the Pro X so that you guys can see the difference. Pro X next to the G413. You can see how thin it is. Go, oh, and then I think it's as thick on the back as the Pro X. Let's see, let's find out. I'm looking at this for the first time too, so we're seeing this together. Yep, it is as almost as thick as the Pro X keyboard. So it goes from super thin like the low profile and it goes all the way up to Almost as thick. I, th I think it's a, little, it's a little bit thinner than the Pro X. And the brushed aluminum also mimics the low profile one as well, which is brushed aluminum. You guys can see. You guys see it? Like brushed black aluminum. So it's still a little bit more space saving because it's missing. Um, it doesn't have that media center up here. You guys see how the Pro X has the button, the game button settings and the brightness button and the media center is right here this one all right yeah so everything is going to be hidden into the f keys here let's do a close-up of it oh the the cable is not i just realized the cable is not unpluggable so you cannot replace the cable also something to keep in mind if you like to unplug and replug plugged in oh do you guys like to see i don't know if you guys like seeing the cable this is what the cable looks like there it is and you cannot unplug it from the back of the keyboard it is a white backlit keyboard. I'm sure you guys can see all the buttons lit up. It is a really nice brightness to it. And keep in mind, guys, my room is full of sunlight. My room is full of sunlight. And you guys can see the light. That looks really pretty. Most of the 
the keyboards don't have a there's a lot of keyboards that do not have a wrist rest all right guys let's do an asmr key clicky test oh it's six keys for anti-ghosting something also to keep in mind click test See the Pro X. So I have, wow, the space, guys. It actually is, the buttons are lower in height. Do you guys see how tall the Pro X is? So there's a thickness of the board and then the keys are above that. Um, the other one is as thick as the Pro X, but the keys are flush with that. You guys see? Let's do the keyboard type test. All right, this is the Pro X. And now this is the new keyboard, the G413 um, SE. It feels really nice. I don't think you can remove the keycaps. I don't think I can remove it to show you guys. But the switch is this one. This is the switch. I will ask and see and find out if you can remove it. Maybe I'm just weak, but that's the same switch. The uh, brown tactile switch is the one that's on this keyboard. I can see it in there. Yeah, it's a brown switch. Can you guys see it? This is the space bar. This is the on the on the G413. This is the Pro X. There is definitely a sound difference. Something else that I noticed is that the keycaps um, are they they have like a texture on top of them. The material is let's see, the material is PBT. Yeah, the material is PBT, and it's not that smooth keycap. It's a there's a little bit of a, a texture on top. So the purpose of this keyboard, um, or what, what they wanted with this keyboard, was to provide an option gaming grade performance and uh, gaming grade switches, tactile switches, to people who have, uh, who want a more affordable price point. So this one is $69, $69, that's it. $69.99. And then the one with the numpad is $79. Um, so now there's like an affordable price point, basically. And then this is the back of the case. You didn't say anything? Guys, if you hear the music starting and stopping, it's because I keep pressing the keyboard. This is the back of the Pro X so that you have an idea. Back of the Pro X, it has four of these um, so that the keyboard doesn't slide. Compared to this one, has four of them on each corner. Okay, do you guys have any more questions? I would love to show you. I think I'm gonna try it today. So I am out of things to say. Um, I think I'm, and now it's time for me to just test it out today. And if you guys ever buy anything Logitech ever, ever, you guys know you can use my code, right? For 5% off. So you, you take you take those uh, really nice taxes off <laughs> and you help support me too. Here's the code. There. I'm so happy that I'm sponsored by a Logitech. I am so grateful. I really am. Like, this is crazy. So thank you, thank you. I always I always thank you guys because it's it really comes from the bottom of my heart when I get to do these things and it's, it's so cool and I love doing it. So thank you guys for supporting my channel and everything that I do.